Well, praise God. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Good morning, Mary uh, Pocket Balding. Good morning. Blessings to you. Well, praise God. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and get started here. Amen. Amen. Praise God. This is Pastors Alvin and Latoya White here of Empowering Word Christian Center, and we are in the midst of our seven days of prayer and fasting. We're in the midst of our seven days of prayer and fasting, and um, we did a Facebook Live on Monday morning uh, that has been uploaded to YouTube. So if you go to our YouTube page, you'll be able to see that. And then we are live right now, obviously. Um, whether you're watching this live or watching the playback, God bless you. Thank you so much. And you can like and share this as well. And um, this will be uploaded to Empowering Work Christian Center's YouTube page uh, later on today. And we'll be also live Friday. So we live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday throughout this week as we are uh, doing our seven days of prayer and fasting. Amen. So good morning, and we see some people, praise God, hallelujah, we see you, and sometimes we can't see you, so if we don't say anything to you, um, you know, we, you know we're, we're not trying to dismiss you or anything like that, but uh, it isn't always show. So we see, uh, good morning, Marsha Wright, God bless you, and Diane Austin, God bless good you, morning. good morning to you guys, thank you for joining. So we're doing seven days of prayer and fasting. And what prayer and fasting do is they cause you to put down the flesh, yes. the carnality. Yes. It causes you to put that down yes. and engage in the spirit. Yes. You are spending more time in prayer. You're spending more time in the word. You're yes. listening to the word. You're meditating on the word. You're spending more time in worship. You're spending more time in praise. You're spending more. You're, you're more time. Yes. And you're doing less time doing things that you would normally do, yes. whatever your routine is. And you also are going without. You're going without some type of food or thing that you normally do, uh, some type of engagement, which is causing a disruption in the soul. So that it allows you to press in. Yes, it bring, it causes your mind, your will, and your emotions to become 
submitted to the spirit of God that is inside of you. Absolutely. 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 Now, you're praying and fasting. Now, this is this is when this is when you want this is when you want to get closer in the Lord. This is when you want to um, go to another level in your relationship with God. That's what you want. We said put down the flesh or carnality and you're going into the spirit. See? Yes, and you've been teaching about that. Mm Mm-hmm. Galatians 5, chapter um, 16. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. It says this, I say then, walk in the Spirit. Now, what, is, what does that mean? What, is, what does that mean? Walk in the Spirit. When you get born again, you are a spirit. You are a spirit. The Spirit of God is living in you, and you are a spirit joined with the Spirit of God. You live in a body, and you possess a soul, which is your mind, your emotions, your will. Your soul has to be renewed. That part did not get born again. When you got born again, that part did not get born again. That part has to be renewed and submitted to the Holy Spirit. It has to be renewed by the Word of God. You have to put it under subjection to the Word of God. And um, you can't identify with your soul. That's not who you really are. You are spirit. You have to identify with who you are in Christ Jesus. Yes. As a spirit. So, walking in the spirit is really this right here. This is what walking in the spirit is. It is submitting your soul to the spirit of God yes. and how you submit your soul to the spirit of God is coming under the authority of the word of God mm-hmm. you submit to the spirit of God by coming under the authority of the word of God I'm going to say that again you submit, you walk in the Spirit by submitting to the Spirit of God by coming to under the authority of the Word of God. That's good. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that again. You walk in the Spirit by submitting to the Spirit yes. by coming under the authority authority of the word of God. Yes. We want to recognize some people that's just joined. Thank you so much, everybody that's just joined. We know that uh hello and Pram and uh Nick Slick Zachary. Good morning and Carolyn Moss, good morning to you mm-hmm. and Dr. J Jeff Pruitt, God bless, God you. bless you. Love you, sir, and good morning, Love Elder you. Tracy Carr and mm-hmm. Larry Bruce. Good morning to all you guys. Thank good you morning. so much. So we're talking about prayer and fasting, and I have been talking about this for the last few weeks. Man, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is powerful. Yes, it is. Carnal, emotional realm. That is where Satan lives. Yes, it is. That's the access of the soul that Satan has access to. It's the part of the soul he has access to. What you have to do is you have to look at it this way. If you had a pie in your soul, which is your mind, your emotions, and your will. If you had a pie, think about your soul like a circle, like a pie. And percentages of that is renewed, but not all of it. Not all of it. That's why you have to always bring it under the subjection to the Word of God. Yes. 
And the part that's not renewed is the carnal heart. Yes. And that's the part where Satan is able to speak to you. Yes. But if you identify that part as who you are, you'll come in agreement with what he's saying. Man, that thing is powerful. So if I have, if, if my soul has anger issues Mm -hmm. and I go around, I got anger issues. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not true. I am a spirit joined with the spirit of God. That's who I really am. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That's who I really am. I need to identify with that. But if I go around, I got anger issues. Now I'm coming into agreement with what Satan has said. Yes. And then to keep it that identity fortified when correction Mm -hmm. is brought or when the word comes against that type of mindset, you'll feel attacked Mm -hmm. because you've come into agreement with it. Yes. Instead of identifying it as something that opposes your right standing. Because that becomes yeah. your truth. Yes, that becomes your truth. And, and the word the of God is truth. The yes. word is truth. Yes. See, you have to believe everything what Jesus said. And prayer and fasting will cause you to eliminate unbelief. Yes, it will. Especially when you're praying in the Holy Ghost. Yes, when you're does. praying in the Spirit. Because the Bible says, build yourself up in your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So praying in the Holy Spirit while you're fasting will eliminate unbelief. Yes. It will eliminate unbelief. You know, un- eliminate unbelief. And so in that, what we're talking about is we're talking about in 2020, listen, in 2020, you want to allow God to show you areas of unbelief in your life so that you can target that and build your faith with the word of God. You want to eliminate every area of unbelief because if there's areas of unbelief in your life, that's the area where the enemy has access to. Mm -hmm. That's the area that he's going to target. The enemy is strategic. Mm -hmm. See, and he does not want you to receive everything God has for you. Remember, Jesus on the cross over 2000 years ago said it is finished. So whatever you're believing God for, whatever God has for you is already made available. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Healing and health and wealth and prosperity and 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 everything, the purpose and destiny, all of that stuff God has for you, peace and joy and all of that stuff, all of that stuff he has made available to you right now. Yes, See? So, again, how do we walk in the Spirit? Well, we walk in the Spirit by submitting to the Holy Spirit and coming under the authority of God's Word. God's Word has to be the supreme authority in your life. He says, I say then walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So that flesh or that carnal part it's wanting something. It's wanting to do something. It's, it, has a, it has a lust for something. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another. And they do not, uh, contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things you wish. So in other words, there's this internal war with you, Spirit of God, coming against the flesh. You know, I like to think of it as, remember the cartoons you see, uh, Tom and Jerry, Mm. and you have the, the angel on Tom's shoulder and then the the devil Tom, they both were Tom. Yeah. There was an angel Tom and then there was a devil Tom and the angel Tom would be like, Hey, you don't need to do this. Hey, don't do this. Don't do, do what's right. Do what's right. And then the devil Tom was like, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Well, see, that's the spirit of God on the inside Mm -hmm. of you saying, submit to the word of God. And then you have the flesh that wants to agree with Satan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And depending on how strong you are, how intentional you are, 
you decide what spirit you're going to listen mm. to. So we can't blame as individuals anything on the devil. At that moment, mm -hmm. we decide, are we going to listen to the voice of the devil? Or are we going to listen to the voice of God? Yes. We decide. Then we take action and we do something or we say something. But it, it is our choice. Some people say, hey, pastor, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to hear God's voice. The more you renew your mind, the clearer the voice of God. Yeah. God is always speaking. He's always speaking. He's always talking. The more you submit to the Holy Spirit and submit to the authority of God's word, the more your mind is renewed and open with clarity to receive the voice of God. Yes. He says, but if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like. <sighs> hmm. Which I tell you beforehand, just as also I told you in the past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So what happens is it's going to stop you from being everything God has called you to be. Because you're practicing this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to prevent you from manifesting heaven in your life. Yeah. See? Yeah, you know, when you when I look at that, and it says and the like. There's so much. There's so much. We that can't we can't that name you it all. Even list it all. Just throw it all in there. And you know what we talk about. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're practicing, when you're making room for those things, mm. when you are setting out to do whatever those things are that um, are those fleshly things. Yeah. You won't inherit. What God has for He you. already provided. He already that's why it's provided. an inheritance. It's an that's inheritance. why it's an inheritance because He's already provided it. You're making basically. You are making room. Mm -hmm. That's what practice is. Like yeah. if I go out right now and I'm, you know, see a, a basketball game going on. If I say, "Hey, man, look at those people playing basketball," I'm gonna go join them playing basketball. That's me just going and joining them playing basketball. Mm -hmm. But if I practice. Now I'm scheduling time to go to the gym. I'm doing this. I'm meeting up with people. That's what practice is. Yeah. And practice is much different. Listen, you, you and I, we're going to make mistakes and we're going to fall short and things like that. But there is a difference if we practice. Yeah, a hey, let me schedule a time. Let me, let me, let me work better and harder at and oh we, and man, know. let me let me make sure people know who I really am. I'm going to make sure people know who I really am. And so what what happens in the body of Christ mm -hmm. that practicing and making room for these things the majority of the time a lot of that's done behind closed doors. It's done behind closed doors and people that they're com that they're comfortable with exposing yep. themselves yep. to. Yep. And so then at an opportune time when the devil sees fit to expose you, yeah. those things that you've been making room for. Yep. They're gonna come out. out. They're gonna come out. They there's not a matter of if, yeah. It's a matter of when because the thief comes to steal. steal. Kill, kill and, and destroy. destroy. He wants to bring destruction. He wants to bring, get people off and detoured yes. from where God has them. Yes, that's right. So his his main objective is keep practicing in the booth in the back in the yes. corner of the dark. Keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing. So that now all of a sudden there will be a manifestation in public. In public. In public. And that brings condemnation, yes, and guilt, and, and shame. shame. Then that's, yes. that's what brings condemnation, mm -hmm. guilt, and shame. Mm -hmm. And so what you have to do is you have to realize there's a difference between condemnation and conviction. conviction. Condemnation comes from Satan. Conviction comes from the Holy Spirit. 
and the word of God. And so condemnation says, oh, you messed up and you dirty dog and you never going to do it. You never this and you never that and, da, 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 and you so bad. And you might as well keep on doing it. And everybody looking at you this way and everybody doing this. Everybody don't like it. And then this, uh -huh, and, uh -huh. and you become a victim. Yeah. And now there's shame. Yeah, there's shame. That, that's a whole spirit right it there. It's really spirit. demonic. But conviction <clears throat> says this. Yes. Hey, you did it. Uh, I already made provision for grace. Yes. Receive my love and grace. Mm -hmm. Yes. Get it under. Learn from it. Submit, submit to my word and keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. <clears throat> Put if, that thing behind. Don't let behind. that thing hold you back. <clears throat> my grace is sufficient for you. My That's the conviction sufficient. of the Holy Spirit. Yes. You know, and if you don't deal with shame, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the very nature of shame is to stuff it down mm -hmm. and not allow it to be exposed. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called shame. It causes mm -hmm. a person, causes you to want to hide. Wow. So you have to do, we have to do. Because Adam and says, Eve hid, hid from God. Hid. God wasn't hiding from Adam yeah. and Eve. Adam and Eve hid from God. They hid from God. And if you don't, despise the shame like the word says didn't it say oh glory yeah. to god say that again despise, despise the shame the shame uh-huh and where, yeah 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 that's in that's in uh, okay um That is, so we're surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. That's Hebrews 12. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin. Do you know why it says weight mm -hmm. and the sin? Mm -hmm. Because it's talking about there's some type of pressure on your soul. Yeah. That's causing you to sin, which causes a coping mechanism. Yeah. That's the spirit of heaviness. Spirit you got to put on the garment of praise. That's from Isaiah yeah. from 61. You need to put on the garment of praise. In these days, your praise and worship is critical. Yes, it is. Worship will bring you intimacy with God and praise will break the power of the enemy. Yes, it is. Because it'll bring the presence of God. He inhabits the praise of, of his people. people. And you have to um, lay aside every weight and sin and despise the shame. Because if you don't do that, you your soul will naturally mm. go over into pride to cover up the shame. Yes, 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 yes. He says, come unto me, all you who are heavy, heavy laden. laden. And I will give you rest. See, that's why you need to be submitted to Jesus because he can give you rest. Mm -hmm. He can He can heal your soul, deliver. Doesn't it say he restores your soul? Mm -hmm. And that's why also you got to cast your cares upon him because he cares for, for you. you. Yes. Glory to God. And it says this. And uh, he says, um, he says this, he says, uh, the sin which so easily ensnares us, let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. He's writing your story. Amen. For who for the joy, oh man, that, that, that thing is power. That was set before him. The joy allowed him to endure the cross. And he despised the shame. And now he sat down at the right hand of the Father. So you have to, you have to take a look at that and say, man, I can be like Jesus and I can despise any shame. When you do this, when you're submitted, it's going to allow you to walk in the spirit, love, 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 right there. Notice the first one is love. The word of God says that he, we love him because he first loved us. I'm going to say that again. We love him because he first loved us. When you receive God's love, oh Lord, you love me. 
You, you, you love me right now. You love me. I receive that. You're able to love him back. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. So if a person is not walking and submitted to, to the word of God, and they're not walking in relationship with God, it's because, so they're not keeping his commandments. So that, that's because he said, if you love me, so if you're not loving him, it's because you haven't received his love. Yeah. You have, the first thing you have to do is receive the love of God. That's why when a person gets born again, really it's receiving God's love. It's receiving God's love. You have to receive God's, you have to believe that he loves you so much that if you were the only person that needed redemption, he would do it just for you. Hmm. That's good. You have to meditate on that. You Make, uh, out of the Jesus billions personal. and billions and billions of people in the world, if it was the only one, if you was the only one born into sin, he would came just for you. Just for you. That's, That's so the love good. of God. That's so good. When you receive the love of God, the Bible says what? Perfect love does what? Cast out, cast fear. out fear. He casts out fear. And fear involves torment. It puts pressure on the soul. Fear does. Yeah, it does. It puts pressure on your mind, your emotions, your will. puts pressure on it. And you don't want to be tormented. This is good stuff. Fasting and praying will allow you to press in so you can receive the love of God. When you receive the love of God, now you can love him. And guess what? You can love yourself. The word of God, Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. as yourself. So you can't even love people without loving yourself. You have to love yourself. And do you know sicknesses and diseases come because of self-hatred, self-rejection? They call them autoimmune yeah. diseases. Yeah. See? That's good. Glory be to God. That's good. In 2020, God wants to manifest his glory in your life. In 2020, he wants to give you double for your trouble. We were, we just got something in the mail mm -hmm. from uh, Reinhard Bonke. Bonke Ministries. You know, Reinhard Bonke went on to be with the Lord. Mm hmm just amazing man of God mm -hmm. and his ministry mm -hmm. saving millions upon mm -hmm. millions of people, mm -hmm. really true evangelists mm -hmm. of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, David Kalenda mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. is really leading that ministry. Mm -hmm. And um, he sent this. We just got this in the mail. We mm -hmm. went to the office, mm -hmm. open up, mm -hmm. and um, we've done some partnership things with them in prayer in the past mm -hmm. and stuff. And we, um, this is what he said. He said, they are calling this the decade mm -hmm. of double harvest. Double harvest. Yeah. Boy, I'm telling you, yeah. they're calling it, that's what they heard from the Lord. Yeah. They're calling it the decade of double harvest. It's so awesome when the leaders in the body of Christ are all on the same. The pain. same. God wants to give you double for your trouble. Yes. Amen. Ha ha ha. Double for your trouble. God wants, you got to believe and receive it. He wants to give you double for your trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I ministered that on our New Year's Eve yes. uh, service, which is, you can find it on Facebook, um, uh, Empowering Word Christian Center's Facebook page. And it's very, very powerful. Um, there, we we are in a time where we need to pray. There was just a Ukrainian airplane with um, I, close to 180 people on board that just crashed last night. Um, we need to pray for those people, the families, mm -hmm. uh, Ukrainian. And um, we have Puerto Rico um, being ravaged with earthquakes. 
Now, they just had the hurricane just a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we have Australia with the bush wild bushfires. And then we have war. Mm -hmm. We have we have the Iranian situation, war. We, we need to pray. We need to pray. It's not a game anymore. You know, we don't, life is not a game. It's not a game anymore. Mm -hmm. That's what I hear. It's not a joke. Mm -hmm. It's not a game. This is real life with a real Satan. And with, with a real devil. With a right? real devil. Right. And the enemy wants you to be so caught up in your world mm -hmm. that life just becomes frivolous and it becomes a joke. And that you can't be about your father's yeah. business. Yeah. The only thing that matters is pleasing God. That's all that matters. The only thing that matters is pleasing God. That's really what shapes our walk with the Lord yeah. when we don't want to do anything to grieve Him. Mm -hmm. mm. Faith, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for your presence, Lord God. We bless you, we bless you, we praise you. We worship you, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, this plane that went down last night, Ukrainian plane. Father, people have lost their loved ones. They've lost their brothers and their uncles and their sons. They've lost nephews, they've lost cousins, aunties and moms and dads and grandfathers and grandmothers and so on. They've lost daughters and nieces and they've lost them, Father. They've lost best friends. Father, in the name of Jesus, comfort these people. Comfort these people to where the enemy cannot get the last laugh that out of this in Ukraine this 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 starts the beginning of a the greatest revival in Ukraine history for the gospel of Jesus Christ let people be sent to minister to your word let them see visions let them dream dreams of your love for them father in the name of Jesus Father, Puerto Rico, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, bless those people, Father, protect those people, keep those people from harm and danger, yes. and all of these earthquakes must cease in the name of Jesus. Let peace come to the land, healing come to the land in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, these Australian bushfires, let it rain, rain, rain for days upon days, a deluge that will put out these fires. In Jesus' name, let healing come to the animal kingdom, healing come to the land, healing come to the people. In the name of Jesus, these, Lord God, these, in the name of Jesus, this war, this re retaliation with Iran, this conflict, Father, arrest all those who oppose you and oppose your word, arrest them by the Holy Spirit, let them fall to their knees and repent to you. Give them dreams and visions, Lord God. And I declare that there will not be any war or loss of life by the American people in the name of Jesus. Protect our troops. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God.
Father, we just thank you, Lord, and praise mm. you and honor you and glorify you today, Father. We thank you, Lord, that we are aware of you today, Father, yes. that this will be a fast, a time of fasting and prayer for oh, all of us, Father, God. like never before. Yes. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are, uh, that we are aware of you today. Mm. We submit to you, Lord. Yes. Override our temperament with your fruit and refine mm. our personality, Glory Father. To God. She we God. submit to you today, Father. We resist the devil and he will flee. We thank you, Lord, that you will show yourself in our character and our speech and our actions today, yes. Father. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that anything, Lord, that's in us, I speak this over us and the people yes. that are watching, that is not of you, yes. uprooted. And replace it with your image and with your likeness Glory and with your to power, God. Father. Yes. See, we will I not just God. live a life that is just pleasing unto us, Father. Yes. But we desire to please you. Yes. We desire your glory, the manifestation of your presence in our yes. life. We Glory thank you and praise God. you for that today, Lord. We Did exalt I you I and I magnify I your I holy I name I today, I Lord. We just magnify you and praise you today, Father. Yes. This is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in yes, it today, Father. Father. We thank you, Lord, and claim and declare double for our trouble. Yes. Double harvest. Father. Yes. A, a double um, uh, favor, yes. Lord. Double favor with the people. Double Lord favor God. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We thank you for restoration in the souls. Yes. In our mind, our wills, and our emotions, Father. I just declare that we have a sound mind, the mind of Christ, yes. Father. That all fear and unbelief is eradicated mm. from our lives in Jesus' name. In we receive Jesus your love, name. and your love will cast out and eradicate all yes. fear yes, in, yes, our, yes. in our lives, Father. And we walk in confidence and mm. boldness and by the Spirit of God in Jesus' name. And, and not back down or be intimidated by any demonic spirit or yes. force, Father. But we rise up and be the men and women that you have called us to be because yes. we are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Thank that, you, therefore, Jesus. this is the realm from which we stand and yes. from which we war. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank Glory you. to God. Well, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You can like and share this, and we're going to upload this to YouTube. We live stream all of our services uh, Sunday mornings at 11 a.m., Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., and so... Um, you can watch, you know, replays of services. You can watch live services. Also, you can go to our website, empoweringword.net. You can find out more about our church at empoweringword.net. And um, if you want to give to the ministry, you can also give through that as well. You can give through that as well. If you're looking to join the ministry, you can join the ministry. You can uh, reach out to us as well. And uh, different events that we have. Just you can go to empoweringword.net. Also, you can download the free Empowering Word Christian Center Church app. You can stay up to date with what's going on at the church. We're at 4010 East State Street. Tonight is our night of prayer. Yeah. Tonight is our night of prayer. Meet us at Empowering Word Christian Center, 4010 East State Street. And tonight is our night of prayer. We are, um, we are going to be praying. We're going to be praying, praying, praying for one hour. We're going to be praying. I'm going to bring a word about prayer. And then we're going to be praying together in unity. Um, so meet us tonight. And we'll be live streaming that again. And uh, our new platform is YouTube. Our new platform is YouTube. So praise God. Praise God. And, um, and so we're so thankful for that. And so um, hallelujah, you can like and share this. You can like and share yes. this. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. We pray that you have the best day of, so far of this week. Thank you, Jesus. And that whatever Monday and Tuesday was, today is even better than that. Yes, Lord. And that God continues to reveal himself more Amen. to you and you're pressing in and you're you're gaining ground and taking authority in the areas he's called you to take authority in. God Amen. bless you. 
and uh, we will see you soon. We will be back Friday at 7 a.m., back Friday at 7 a.m., so remember that we'll be live Friday morning at 7 a.m. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.